Welcome back to the Boxing Clever Fiction Factory, the new story creation app from Alan Peets Limited. In the last video, I walked you through how to use the design room. If you haven't watched that tutorial yet, I recommend you do so before continuing. As I explained in the previous video, content is king, and this comes from you. The app itself does not have pre-installed images. You know the topics and genres that best stimulate your students, and the design room allows you to populate the app with the images you feel will best engage your pupils. In this video demonstration, I will be walking you through the functionality of the Fiction Factory section of the app. What I won't be telling you is how to teach using Boxing Clever. For an in-depth look at delivering Boxing Clever in the classroom, watch Alan's live demo at alanpeat.com forward slash Boxing Clever. So, here is the main screen. You can swipe through the five different available packs, or use the arrows to navigate left and right. In the previous video, I used the design room to create a science fiction themed pack. I can open this now by tapping on it. On this screen, we can see the first three boxes that, when opened, will provide us with visual inspiration for our story. We can view all eight boxes by swiping left and right. Let's start by tapping the Who box to open it. It's the young astronaut. This image has been randomly selected from the content that I originally imported into this box in the design room. The maximum number of images any one box can contain is 30. By opening the remaining boxes, we will start randomly generating the other ingredients we need to include within the structure of our linear story. So, where? A space academy. Where next? Some sort of portal or a time machine? Now, for the Y box, you will remember from the pack edit screen in the design room that this was faded out. This is because when we open it, it will always contain the same thing, a prompt to tap to add your reasons for the journey. What goes wrong? A horde of evil looking aliens, an invasion perhaps? Who helps? Another astronaut, a decorated veteran maybe? Where last, another planet, possibly Saturn. And finally, the feelings box. This was also faded out in the design room. This is because it contains only two images, a happy or a sad face. In this case, it's a happy face. Now that I have the eight key features of my story, I can start making notes in app. I can do this by tapping on the notes icon above a box. Let's add a quick note to the who box. The notes icon is this button with the horizontal lines. This opens the notes page. Here I can write my ideas about who this young astronaut is, or even begin writing the opening of my story. For now, I'll just make a note that this is a young cadet in his first year at the Space Academy. When I have finished writing my notes, I can print them or save them to Dropbox by pressing the appropriate icon at the top of the screen. To close the notes page, tap on the X in the top left corner of the page. My notes are automatically saved in the app, and I can go back and continue writing about the astronaut whenever I want. This feature could also be used as a drafting tool, or even as a basis for peer editing or group story writing. The classroom possibilities are limitless. As well as written notes, I can also record audio notes by tapping the microphone icon, like so. The microphone turns orange to indicate that it is recording. To stop recording, I simply tap it again. To listen to my recording, I just press the play button. The microphone turns orange to indicate that it is recording. To stop recording, I simply tap it again. I could now go ahead and make written or audio notes for each of the other seven boxes. I could even combine both written and audio notes. Now for the really exciting part, you may also have noticed that there is actually a ninth box. This box contains all of the written notes we have made for all eight boxes, collated into one easy to read document. The entire story is pieced together by the app itself for the pupils to print and edit. They can also save the document to Dropbox. If I'm not happy with one of the images and how it fits into my story, for instance, I'm not too keen on having an alien invasion in this particular story. I can press the orange refresh button on the lid of the specific box I want to change. The app will first warn me that any notes that I have made for this box will be erased. Tapping refresh this box will reset and close the box. 
Now, the next time I open this box, another random image will appear. I can also close a box without refreshing it by simply tapping the box itself. When I open it again, the same image will appear and all of my notes will, importantly, still be saved. If I want to make any of the images larger on the screen, I can simply tap on one. Uh, to close the image, I can tap anywhere on the screen. There are two other buttons at the top of the screen. The X button exits to the main screen. When I go back to the pack I've been working on, all the images, notes and recordings are just as I left them. If I tap the top refresh button, I can reset the whole pack, erasing all of my notes and recordings. This also resets all of the images. So, that's the Boxing Clever Fiction Factory. We hope you have fun creating your own stories, whether they be genre specific or generic. This digital version of the internationally popular story making game brings a new level of engagement and limitless possibilities across all genres. The Boxing Clever Fiction Factory will be available on the App Store from Sunday the 31st of January 2016. Make a note in your diaries.